Kanye West just freed the slaves and they're gonna kill him for it. So Kanye West used to always call himself a genius and I thought he was a freaking idiot for saying it. But my mind is officially blown. Kanye West is a genius. So this dude gets on TMZ and goes off on a rant and gets the white corporate America to broadcast his rant all over the world to every home in the country and guess what? There was a hidden message in it. There were a lot of hidden messages in it and we're gonna get to that. But, but first let me explain to you. This is monumental. This just took Kanye West from a rapper to an icon. His name will be talked about for hundreds of years because of what he's just done. And nobody even knows it, especially the black community. When Jesus came to this world to free the slaves, they killed him for it. And I hope this don't happen to Kanye because right now, black people are attacking him from every direction. And it's so sad because he did this for you. And actually he did this for me. When I said slaves at the beginning of the video, I'm not talking about just black people. I'm talking about white people, black people, Mexicans, uh, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, whatever there is. If you're living in America, you're a slave. And he just broke the mental chains that have enslaved us. This video right here needs to be shared everywhere and go viral. And now I'm gonna break it down for you. So Kanye West made the comment, okay? He made the comment that uh, slavery for 400 years, it was a choice. There's the first hidden message, 400 years. Slavery started in 1619 here in America and ended in 1865. If slavery hadn't have ended in 1865, 2018 would have made 400 years. Boom! Let that sink in. Kanye West just pretended to go on a crazy rant and say some dumb things that we thought had no meaning and get the mainstream media to spread those seeds of knowledge across the whole country. And guess what he said? When he said that for 400 years slavery has been a choice, he was talking to every black person in America and he was talking to every slave in America, which is most of us too. He was telling everybody, for 400 years, you've been enslaved by choice. Get it? We're still enslaved. There are mental chains on our brain that we can't break free from. Kanye West is trying to punch holes in the matrix and get a message out to us. And then he went on later in that rant to talk about how the media controls everything and we're all drugged out and we all need to wake up. Yo, what we thought was a crazy rant just made this dude go down in history. Do you realize what he did? He just planted the seed in everybody's mind that everything is controlled and that we're still slaves they're gonna kill him for it. The black people are coming for him and he mostly did this for you. So this video needs to get out. You need to share this with everybody, okay? And I mean no disrespect to black people. I love black people as much as I love white people. We're slaves too. And I mean no disrespect to the Bible because there is only one Jesus Christ and it's not Kanye West. So don't take this video out of context and put words in my mouth. Kanye's doing the same thing that Jesus did. Try to break people free and I hope they don't kill Kanye for it the way, uh, the, way the world killed Jesus. But this is huge. Just, I've been watching videos of Kanye all week over and over again breaking them down and then it, it came to me. Slavery was only 200 and some years long here in America. Kanye said 400 years. That was a hidden message. That was to tell us all we're enslaved. The media controls everything and no matter how much money and fame you have, you're still not free. What he just did is, is mind blowing. He just told black people, hey, wake up, you're still slaves. And they're gonna look back and say, wow, th th this guy was a real genius. He, 
He let us know. He shook us. He just shook the whole world. Wake up. Everybody wake up. You're still slaves. What he did has changed the future. The future of America, the future of the world, it's all going to be different because he was able to get on TV, go off on a crazy rant filled with hidden knowledge, and then get corporate America to spread the message everywhere. So they're either going to kill him or he's going to go in the history books as being the first person to start breaking down the brainwashing enslavement that the elite have pushed upon every American in this country. So I know I sound crazy right now, but just stop and think about the implications of what he's just done. He's just put the seed in everybody's mind that they're still enslaved and they're drugged out and the media controls everything and now they're gonna they're trying to kill him for it this is deep that dude's a genius he used the the media machine against themselves to get a secret message out to the population this is I mean my mind's blown expect a future video on this like my mind is blown I haven't even fully comprehended this I'm putting the pieces together as I'm making this video I didn't want to lose this enthusiasm before I got it out to you expect more John X Army signing out from the belly of the beast